Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. I'm gonna feed you to the rats. Ah, you miss your old man, Vito? Don't worry, you're gonna see him soon. <clears throat> You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? You fuck! You know what's gonna happen to you? I'd spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. And it's good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Hey Vito, we can take things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw will swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here.
You take care now, buddy. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that.
Vito! Good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. Well, why? So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe's with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbro. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he knew himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Fate bene, Vito. Freeze, and maybe I won't kill you. Hiya, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you, too. Don't move a muscle. Come on. Listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. 
No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him, so that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry, it's got a hell of a view.